So in this video we're going to look at a few more practice problems of factoring when the a is not equal to 1, and what I mean by that is the number in front of x squared is not equal to 1. These are the more challenging types of problems. And so um, these are the six problems we're going to go over. I'm going to do one per slide so we have plenty of room to work them out and go over them. What would be nice is if you've watched the other factoring videos, is try these on your own. See how many of these six you can get without my help. And anticipate each one taking, you know, maybe three to five minutes. Uh, some of you might get them in 30 seconds, but it's okay to take some extra time and struggle through them. So I would encourage you to pause it, write these down, see if you can figure them out. And if you can't, then uh, hit play and, and I'll help you through them. So let's get started on number one. So on the first one, we've got 2x squared minus 9x minus 35. So a refresher, we are going to factor this. And to get 2x squared, when we are factoring, we're assuming that we're not dealing with any decimals. And so I know that 2x times x will give me 2x squared. So I know the first two things in the parentheses are going to be 2x and x. The other thing I know is that that last number is negative 35. So I'm looking at what are the factors of 35. I've got 1 and 35, and I have 5 and 7. And those are really my only options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of these two pairs, either the 1 and the 35 or the 5 and the 7, and I'm going to put those in where these boxes are here. And so one thing I've talked about in the previous videos is try to use your brain a little bit here and maybe eliminate the ones that probably aren't going to work. And what I can tell you right now is that 1 and 35 is not going to work. And the reason I know it's not going to work is because I need to get negative 9x when I multiply this all out. And so let's look at why that won't work. You know, we'll plug it in just to kind of show you why it won't work. So let's put 1 and 35 in. 1 here, 35 there. When I multiply the 1 times x, that's 1x. And when I multiply the 2x times 35, that is 70x. There's no way that I can either add or subtract these two to get negative 9x. And if I flip-flop the 1 and the 35 around, that's not going to help us either, because if I put 35 here and 1 here, then instead of 1x and 70x, we get 2x and 35x. Well, still, it's, it's still not going to be anywhere close to 9. So that's why I know I can eliminate that 1 and 35 right away. So it's got to be 5 and 7. I guess I didn't have to get rid of that. And I don't know which one goes where, so I'm just going to put 5 in the first box and 7 in the second one. Change that to a 7. So 2x times 7 is 14x, and 5 times x is 5x. Could I make these two give me negative 9x? Sure, I could do negative 14 and plus 5x. So negative 14x and plus 5x. So, in order to get negative 14x, ooh, that's not what I wanted. Let's try that again. There we go. In order to get negative 14x, that was 2x times 7, so that means that the 7 has to be negative. And in order to get positive 5x, that's 5 times x, so that means the 5 has to be positive. So, this, you know technicolored answer here is our answer. These are the factors, 2x plus 5 and x minus 7. And if you multiply these two out, you end up with what we started with. Those are the same. Okay, I'm not going to go quite as in-depth on every single one, just because I, I was, wanted to go over kind of a refresher on this first one. Okay, let's look at number 2. This is 3x squared plus 22x minus 16. So if I set up my parentheses, I know to get 3x, there's really only one option. It's 3x times x. So we'll just 
say I know that's it because we're not dealing with decimals. There's no other factors of 3. For 16, we have a few different options. There's 1 and 16, 2 and 8, and 4 and 4. Now, on this one, 1 and 16 might be an option because that middle term is pretty big. And so it's possible that that one might work. Um, but if that middle term were like a 2x, then 1 in 16 would be a pretty, uh, pretty bad choice. So let's try that one. Um, if I do 1 in 16 here, I can tell right away that's not a good choice because 3 times 16, that's going to be 48x. 1 times x is 1x. That's not going to give me 22. If I flip around the 1 and the 16, Let's see, that's going to be 6, ooh, that's not what I want. Let's try that again. That's going to be 16x and 3x. That's not going to give me 22 either, but that one's pretty close. That's 19x, so that's why it wasn't a terrible idea. Um, all right, so it's not 16 and 1. We can kind of eliminate that one. So let's, uh, let's try the next one. Let's try 2 and 8. So let's put a 2 here and an 8 there. Let's see if that works. 2 times x is 2x. 3x times 8 is 24x. Is there a way for me, and remember, this has to be negative 16, so one's got to be positive, one's got to be negative. Is there a way to get positive 22x when we combine these? Sure, if we have plus 24x and minus 2x. So to get the plus 24x, that's going to be 3x times 8, so the 8's got to be positive. And to get negative 2x, that has to be 3x minus 2. So our factors are 3x minus 2, not 3 like I wrote, 3x minus 2 times x plus 8. That is in factored form. All right, let's look at number 3. Here we've got 5x squared plus 53x plus 72. All right, so let's do our parentheses. And on these first three, I purposely picked it so it was pretty easy. It's 5x and x because 5 is a prime number, so there's really only one option there. All right, so for 72, man, we've got a bunch of options. We've got 1 and 72, 2 and 36, 3 and something, 3 and 24. 4, I believe. Yeah. 4 and 18. 5 doesn't go into it. 6 does. It would be 6 and 12. And I don't think 7 does. Nope. 8 and 9. All right. So we have a bunch of options here. Now, I'm going to eliminate 1 and 72 right away. Because if I put a 72 here... That 5x times 72 is going to be way too big. If I put a 72 in this other spot here, that's not going to work either. It's not going to give me 53. So um, we've got a bunch of options. But what I know I can do right away is I can say I know that this thing right here where my cursor is can't be 36. It also can't be 24 because, remember, that's going to get multiplied by 5. And so I know it's not going to be... 2 and 36. It might be 36 and 2, but I know it's not going to be 2 and 36. I know it's not going to be 3 and 24. It could be 24 and 3. And what I mean is, like, you could put a 24 here and a 3 there to get 53. Um, but I, I know that the second parentheses, all of those big numbers are not going to work. And so I could try, let's try 36 in the first box and 2 in the second and that's going to be 10x and 36x. So that's 46. That's not going to get us what we need. So let's try the next one down. Um, 24 and 3. 24 here. 3 here. I'm just going to cross those out. So we'd have 15x and 24x. That's going to be 40, or excuse me, 39x. The other one before was 46x. Okay, so that didn't work. 
um, let's try 18 and 4. And what I'm going to show you here is we can pretty much eliminate all of these. 18 and 4. 18 times x is 18x. Uh, 5 times 4 is 20x. So we've got 38x. If you notice, these are all going down, and we're trying to get to 53. And so maybe what we could do is instead of working our way down, let's let's try 8 and 9. I think that might be our, our ticket there. So it's not 4 and 8. Um, it's not or 4 and 18. It's not 18 and 4. I think it's going to be 8 and 9. Let's try it out. So if we do that, we've got 5x times 9 is 45x. 8 times x is 8x. 45 plus 8 is 53, and that's what we're looking for. So we've got 5x plus 8 and x plus 9. So as you notice, when this number that I'm circling in red here, that's 72, is that one gets to have a lot of factors, can really complicate matters quite a bit because there's a lot of different things to check. And that's where you got to, you know, use your brain to eliminate a couple of the the more obvious not correct ones. Okay, number four here. So this one is not a slam dunk. We don't know if this is 4x and x or if it's 2x and 2x. So um, we're going to have to do a little bit of guess and check. But the nice thing is they gave us a number that's prime. So 7 is 7 and 1. There's really only one combination. It's just does the 7 go here and the 1 go there or vice versa. So let's start there. Maybe it's 4x and x. Maybe it's 2x and 2x. I don't know. So 7 times x is 7x. And 4x times 1 is 4x. That does not give me negative 29. So that's not right. But let's try to flip these around and see if that's any better. Um, let's see, we have one here, seven there. Probably should erase this. There we go. Okay, so we've got one x, and then four x times seven is 28 x. Well, hey, guess what? If these are both negative, we'll get our negative 29 that we're looking for. So that's going to be four x minus one and x minus seven. So there are our factors. We don't have to worry about that at all because we found the answer already. All right, that was the fourth one. Here's the fifth one. So another 4x squared. So it's going to be another example where it's either going to be 4x and 1x, or just x, you could write, or it's going to be 2x and 2x. We've got two different possible combinations to get 4x squared. For 35, it's got a few more possibilities than the last one, but not too many. 1 and 35, and 5 and 7. The other thing that I don't know if you've been picking up on this, but when this is a plus, so plus 35, that means that both of these have to be the same, either plus and plus or minus and minus, because positive times net positive is positive, and negative times negative is positive. So it's got to be positive and positive or negative and negative. Well, this first positive tells me it's got to be positive and positive because you can't have two negatives and add to a positive. That's just not possible. So we kind of, it's, it's, we're kind of starting to eliminate some things that aren't true, and then we really, I mean, we really cut down all, a lot of different possibilities here. So... 1 and 35 is, is possible, but if I put the 35 here, that 4 times 4x times 35 is really, really big. That's not going to give me that 24. So let's be smart about that and put the 35 there, and let's see if that does it. 4x times 1 is 4x. 35 times 1x is 35x, and that will not give me 24x. So 1 and 35 can be eliminated for this first group. It could, it might be the case with 2x and 2x, but we'll get to that. Let's try 5 and 7. Let's put a 5 here and a 7 there. 4x times 7 is 28x. 
and 5 times 1x is 5x. And that's not going to give me 24x. When I add those together, I get 33. So let's try flipping them around, see if that's any better. Let's put the 7 there and the 5 there. Erase what we had. It's just a lot of guess and check here. Um, I just did the exact same thing, didn't I? Yep. 7 first, 5 second. 4x times 5 is 20x, and 7 times 1 is 7x. We're close, but 27 is not 24. So we've tried all, we've exhausted all the possibilities for that first 4x and 1x. So it's not that. So it's got to be 2x and 2x. I'm guessing it's going to be 5 and 7, so let's try that. The nice thing about this is it doesn't matter where I put the 5 and the 7 because they're both 2x's. So 2x times 7 is 14x. 5 times 2x is 10x. Is 14x plus 10x equal to 24x? It sure is. So there are our factors. 2x plus 5 and 2x plus 7. All right. So I think, is this the last one, I believe? Yeah, the last side's blank there. All right, last one. So um, once again, we've got a couple different choices here. We could have 6x. That's supposed to be a 6. And 1x. Or we could have 3x and 2x. Those are our different starting points. Okay. And then for 9... I've got two choices. It's either 1 and 9 and 3 and 3. Let me do that again. There we go. All right. So in the last problem, we talked about if there's a plus here, then it's either going to be plus plus or minus minus. Well, this minus out in front here tells me that it's got to be minus minus. Because when we multiply two negatives, we get a positive. And when we add two negatives, we get a negative. So we've got it set up. We know it's going to be minus minus, And we know it's either 6x and 1x or 3x and 2x. So um, I know I'm not going to put a 9 here because 6x times 9 is 54x. That's way too far away from 29. So let's, uh, let's get rid of that. All right, well, we could try the 9 here, see what that does. This would be 9x, and this would be 6x, and so that's not 29. So I've eliminated 9 and 1. That's not going to be an option. We could try 3 and 3. That will be an easy, quick check. Let's see here. 6x times 3 would be 18x. And 3 times 1 is 3x. That gives me 21x. So that's not negative 29x. So it's not 6x and 1x. It's got to be 3x and 2x. We'll try uh, 1 and 9 again. Let's see what happens there. 3x times 9 is 27x. 1 times 2x is 2x. These are both negative. And hey, guess what? There it is, because we get negative 29x. Negative 29x. So there is our answer. So one thing I should have mentioned right off the top, but I'll say it right now, is I'm also going to link a video. Uh, it's not one of my videos. It's just one that I found. But on how to do what's called the AC method for these. Now I'm going to warn you, the AC method it, it's great. It, so I'm warning you that it's great, but it's a really good way to do it. However, if you forget or, or mess up on one step throughout this, you get it wrong. Or if you don't understand how factoring by grouping works, it makes no sense whatsoever. The nice thing about what I'm showing you in these practice problems is yes, it, it's, a, it's a pain in the butt to try to do uh, guess and check for all of these but it always, always works. You do not have to worry about um, forgetting a step or anything like this. Uh, it's just really solving by brute force. So check out in the, in the video description below. If you want to see another way to do it and try that one out, great. Go right ahead 
it's a wonderful method. Um, it's just one that I find when I teach it to students, they tend to get pretty confused. And, uh, and when it comes to like test day, they keep asking me like, so what do you do next? And I'm just like, you know, don't, it's to me, I don't like teaching magic tricks and that's what it can kind of feel like is it feels like basically a, a magic trick, um, to a student. So that's it for these six, six examples.